Hey guys, welcome back to Past Amazing, and today we are back on Clash of Clans. Today we are going to be doing some attacks with our new level 50 Warden. I actually got him earlier today, um, up to level 50. I used a Hammer of Heroes, and now he is level 50. That is the maxed out Warden, so yeah, that is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, it's been a while since I had a maxed out Warden because the Town Hall 13 update came out and suddenly they added 10 more Warden levels. Uh, but it's been around a month since the Town Hall 13 update and I have the maxed out Warden. So I'm super excited, like I said, and we're going to be go ahead and trying him out in today's video. So uh, if you watched one of my uh, earlier videos, I already overviewed the Lava Loon strategy that's been working really well for me up here in Legend League. Go ahead and watch that video if you have not already. Uh, today, we're just going to go ahead and use this guy. Uh, but first, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, have some fun with the Warden. Uh, so in this uh, Goblin map or whatever, I haven't attacked it yet because uh, I don't really need the loot right now. Um, but Let's see if we can activate the Warden ability fast enough such that he doesn't take any damage from any of these defenses that are around. We're going to drop him right in the center uh, right here, right? So let's go ahead and go ahead and do that. And, okay, I don't think we lost any health, but look how many CC troops are coming out, by the way. And look how long this ability lasts. I don't want to risk it, uh, so I'm going to end the battle there. But the level 50 Warden uh, has an 8 second Eternal Tome. Uh, so that's 8 seconds that it's immune from everything. And uh, like I said, you saw all those troops come out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that again. That was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so many troops came out of that. Um, I guess it's called a clan castle, but it's a goblin map, so I don't know. Um, but we're going to go ahead and drop the warden again. Quickly activate his ability. And yeah, it's going to last 8 seconds. And once again, I'm not going to risk it. Uh, I don't want him to actually lose health. So we're not going to do that. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that is the level 15 warden. We're going to go ahead and try him out and attack right now. So I still don't have my Royal Champion, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have the Queen and the King, as well as, of course, the Warden. Um, so anyways, we got this base right here. And uh, let's see. Uh, this one is... Um, I don't want to attack from the bottom because there's going to be a bunch of traps down there. So I'm going to have to attack from the top. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop a few loons right there. A few loons right here. Uh, to do a little bit of funneling, and then we're going to go ahead and drop the rest of our balloons, as well as, uh, you know, the, um, sorry, the, the, the battle blimp, and I actually forgot to, uh, change my warden to air, so, um, <laughs> that's kind of unfortunate, but, uh, hopefully that's fine. We're going to go ahead and drop the rage spells, uh, freeze everything up here in the core, and hopefully my warden can get into the center. Uh, and start doing some work here. I had to activate his ability early because I believe he was under fire uh, from something. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, please take out the Town Hall. No, not no. we're not going to take out the Town Hall, but we still have our heroes. So maybe we can go ahead and, uh, I don't know, clutch this. Um, nah. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and drop our heroes down here. We're going to drop the poison spell. Then go ahead and just drop some minions on the top to get some percentage points. Uh, this was not the ideal raid because, uh, you know, I, I don't like these bases. Um, but, yeah. Okay. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and um, hopefully get as much loot as possible here. I got the Dark Elixir, so that's, um, that's good, I guess. We're going to just go ahead and activate the Queen's ability. Uh, get to 50%, and um, I really don't care... At this point, <laughs> I mean, I could go for the extra percentage. Uh, we're going to wait a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to wait for our minions, I guess. Okay, so this attack, like I said, didn't go that well. Uh, we didn't get that much loot, but I mean, still decent, I guess. I'll take it. Uh, I think we still made a profit. So, okay. Uh, we're gonna just going to end the battle. I'm getting bored here. So yeah, this is not the ideal raid, as you can see from the loot we got. Except the Dark Elixir, that was pretty good, but everything else was not really that good. Um, but okay, that was the attack, and unfortunately our Warden died, so uh, we will not be able to use him again. But I'm just going to go ahead and switch him to air right now, uh, before I forget. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and do a quick base update, I guess. Uh, so I've upgraded my Expos, two of them are now maxed at level 7. The other two are upgrading, I upgraded them actually earlier today. So they are going up. My Royal Champion is upgrading to level 13. 
uh, my uh, my Yetis are going to level 2 right now and hope to upgrade them to level 3 as soon as these level 2 Yetis are finished. Bayaks are upgrading and the Small Bomb is upgrading. So that's all 5 builders. In my builder base, I've been kind of doing targeted upgrades. I'm trying to get that 6th Auto Hut builder because uh, it becomes the 6th builder in your main village once you complete all these things. So I already geared up all 3 buildings. I still have to get my Candy Cart to level 18. Get my Mega Tesla to level 9, and get my Battle Machine to level 30, so I'm basically working on that. Mega Tesla is going to level 7, Cannon Carts going to level 12, Battle Machine is currently level 16. So that's going to take a little while, but hopefully one day we will get that 6th Builder and really speed up our upgrades here in the home village. Okay, so since that last attack live didn't really go that well, I'm going to show you guys some replays that I did slightly better in. Uh, no three stars uh, in the past few attacks. My last one was uh, this one, which was, I think, yesterday, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I didn't have any other three stars um, since then. We're going to go ahead and watch this 87% two star attack right here. This guy had actually maxed out air defenses, so that did not make it easy for me. But that's okay, because we still did pretty good in this attack. So as you can see, uh, everything's going in. And I've already showed you guys this strategy, so you already know how this works and why it works and all that uh, but you can see it kind of doing its magic here for this one actually my uh, battle blimp did not even get to the town hall my dragon does activate the town hall and but my balloons just barely do not get it down so in this one i had to use my heroes to get the town hall but the thing about this base is that uh you know a lot of the storages are near the outside so my minions and warden even down here were able to take out some of the storages and make it easier for my heroes to enter the base. I drop my king first and luckily he heads for the wall right here uh, and then in a few seconds he's gonna hopefully go into the town hall but actually he goes over here so I'm gonna drop my queen in a few seconds uh, to kind of back up my king. He's gonna go ahead and yeah I give it his ability and then I think I drop my queen right here and she's gonna go ahead and walk all the way over here as well but she's gonna target the town hall first because my king uh, got some of those buildings out of the way. So I do get the Town Hall, I get that last gold storage as well, and I'm going to end the battle there. Get a decent amount of loot, 470,000 gold, 456,000 elixirs, so I missed one elixir storage, and then 6,700 dark elixirs. So that was for a pretty good attack. Uh, let's go ahead and watch one more here. This one was a two-star, again. Um, and this guy is another Town Hall 13, obviously. He has slightly more loot available than the last guy. He has 41, uh, 40, 481,000, sorry, 481,000 of each um, golden elixir. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and speed through this attack right here. Going to drop the haste spells once again, freezes, rages, everything as normal. I activate my warden's ability once again early here, uh, but luckily because of that level 50 warden, my balloons were able to actually survive through that town hall blast so that just really shows how effective that eight second eternal tome is on the maxed out grand warden uh, so unfortunately i have a bunch of skeletons here and that's just super annoying i have to activate my king's ability early just to take all those guys out but then uh, there's actually one witch remaining that my poison spell did not take out so that's going to be super annoying she's just going to keep spawning skeletons and there's the king here too, so it gets kind of annoying over here, but luckily, eventually, I activate my queen's ability, and uh, with all the archers she spawns, she does end up taking out that enemy witch, and then, uh, yeah, she's gonna go ahead and snipe these storages, and I think she goes at, uh, go heads down here, gets that elixir storage as well, and then we're gonna go ahead and end the attack. So yeah, she's gonna go ahead and take that elixir storage, just uh, barely not taking it down, but still, we got a decent amount of loot on this one. Low on the elixir, but uh, and low on the dark elixir as well, because I just forgot about that dark elixir storage right here. But good on the gold, so I would call this a decent attack. All right, so that is going to wrap it up for this video for today. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely going to give it a like down below, and also subscribe to my channel for more Clash of Clans videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.